Well, um, brothers and sisters of ATU 757, the time is up for the voting in this latest election. I'm, I'm glad to see the time up. I'm glad it's over because whoever wins this election, the rest of us have to put it behind us and we have to stop fighting amongst ourselves. It's, this has to end with this election. No matter who wins, we got to support them. And the voters have had a chance to express their opinions. I thought we had three very good choices. Uh, last year at this time, I was uh, in a bubble of rage about Bruce and what happened there. And a whole year has gone by, and my rage against Bruce has, has tamped down. And I, I, you know, I don't want to discount the fact that Bruce's strategy could be a good strategy. He, he could be exactly right for the job. And, and the reason I say that is because we know who holds the power here. It's the TriMet people. They hold the power. They do what they want and they get away with everything. They're not an accountable agency. They do what they want. And we know that they don't like Jonathan and Shirley. So a year later, I understand where Bruce was coming from. I don't know if I can say that I agree with the way he handled it, but I, I think I had an idea now of what he was trying to do. He, what I would imagine is, is that McFarland said, look, give me this now, and I'm going to give you something next time. That's what I imagine happened there. Uh, Bruce never said that to me or anybody else I know of. But I, I know that Bruce wouldn't sell us out for nothing. Now, that being said, I am, I voted for uh, Henry and Chris. I did it both times because I'm, I'm of the opinion that we need new people in there. Uh, I really believe that we need some new blood. Some outside people would really be what we, as members, need. And I'll tell you why. Because... The truth is, and everybody who knows anything about our union, the truth is there's an element of corruption there. And I guess, I guess that's what Bruce runs on. There is, there is this element of corruption, and, and I hate to say that because I'm highly sympathetic to John and Shirley. Both John and Shirley have fought hard against the TriMet tyrants. I mean, Shirley was fighting for years against this tyranny. I've watched John leading demonstrations. So I know that they are sincere in their, in their wanting to stop these tyrants that run the TriMet system from rolling over at us. But I also know that there is an element of corruption there. And I think it's very obvious to anybody who has been following this along, this is not something made up. This is true. And there is no accountability to the members and I think this is the root of the dissatisfaction that happens here at ATU 757 and Bruce was just as bad when he was in office you can't get information about anything from these people they have all the information and they're not going to share it with the members you can't find out where the money has been spent you can't find out how much money has been spent the whole thing is a complete mystery to the members so what you have is you have an executive, these executive leaders, the president, the vice president, getting all this dues, and we don't have any idea what they're doing with it, do we? And some of the corruption of the past, for example, the Tom Wallace incident, is as a result of this leadership that is not sharing information with the members, and uh, unfortunately, this is a fact, and I think this is what is leading to a lot of the dissatisfaction. Uh, hopefully, well, I don't even know what to say about it. I mean, I accept a certain amount of corruption because everything in the world we live in now has a certain degree of corruption. 
if you look at TriMet, that's usually corrupted. Okay, they do the same. They have their money that they get from the taxpayers, and they do what they damn well please with it. And there's no outside influence. Okay, they have a sock puppet board of directors that rubber stamps everything. But the TriMet technocrats do what they want. Okay, anybody that knows anything about TriMet knows that. And the union functions on that model because the union leadership is actually functioning like the TriMet leadership. We're in charge. Don't bug us. We'll give you the information we want to give you. Um, and that leads to a lot of the dissent that you see here at ATU 757. Now, if John and Shirley do win, uh, then, then I think... Everybody that's been picking on them for this last year needs to let go of that, okay? It's time to stop. Per Shirley, you know, I really supported Shirley. I didn't vote for her, but I was okay with her winning because she's paid her dues, okay? Shirley paid a lot of dues. She deserved a job because of where she's been fighting the TriMet people and the first black woman as leader of AT, there's lots of reasons why I was okay with Shirley being in that job. But she didn't get a moment's peace from the day she took over. She was under attack. And I, I regret that. And a lot of the attacks were justified, however. I mean, I, you can't just say, don't attack her uh, because she's the president. There's things going on there that justify the attacks. And the way the uh, union leaders function is when they get attacked, they resort to shutting up and uh, covering up, and uh, that's that's just the way it is. I mean, the union is not like TriMet, because in the union, there's, there's an element of democracy. That's the members. We voted for them, and we're supposed to go to the meetings and participate in the union. But those of us that have been through these meetings, you know, they, they say come to the meeting, but there's really no point in going to the meeting because they're not going to tell you anything they don't want to tell you, and they really don't want your input, okay? That's the truth. So be that as it may, this is where we are today. Now, TriMet has had two consecutive victories over us. I think that Shirley and, and John will stand up to them in the kind of way that I would do it. Like, fuck you, Neil. Fuck you. We're not giving you shit. Bruce was more of the, okay, I'll give you what you want, Neil, and let's see if he can get Neil to give him something this time around, if he wins. Now, Henry, Henry was going to bring in uh, John or and or Ron Heinzman along with Bruce as part of his negotiating team. He wanted to bring all the factions together and pursue that way. Um, he wanted to go forward by bringing those two factions together, which is, is a brilliant way to do that. That would be the best way to do that. Um, will Henry win? I, I have no idea what's going to happen in this election. and Nobody really can tell. It's, it seems like there's an even distribution of votes among the three candidates. Or, you know, there's the, there's the two blocks, and then there's the, the, the people that are dissatisfied. But whatever happens, it's time to bury the hatchet, okay? Uh, we have bigger fish to fry besides ourselves. And um, if, it's, if it's Henry and Chris, for example, I know there'll be some actual transparency there. If it's Bruce and Chris, I think that Chris can work with Bruce to bring some actual transparency. If it's John and Shirley, well, we, you know, you're, you're just going to have to leave them be, okay? They're, you're going to have to say, okay, you guys are going to do this, and we're not going to get in your way, because that's, what, that's what's required at this point. If John and Shirley pull this out, everybody has to get out of their way and stop this bickering. It's just let them do it their way, let them handle it their way, let them deal with the money their way, and let's just hold on for the ride. And uh, no matter who wins, it's going to be a great ride. Um, I'm really excited to see the prospects here. Uh, I, I hope the rest of you are too, because this will this will set the tone for the next attempt of TriMet to destroy their retirees and current employees. And you know, I, you know, I follow this stuff every day. I know most people don't think about any of this, but I, I have a hobby that is following the material daily. 
And I know that the TriMet is not done messing with us. You see what they've done already. We're not going to let our new employees go to the union office. I mean, <laughs> that's the kind of underhanded evil shit that these TriMet assholes pull on us. We're going to withhold money from your check and make you pay for your health insurance, even though it's illegal, and we're not even going to give it back to you after a judge has ruled that we have to give it back to you. That's the kind of evil people these are. These people are uncontrollable, dangerous technocrats. And TriMet members, ATU members, have to understand who you're dealing with. These are serious, serious technocrats who border on sociopath personalities because they, they do engage in illegal activities. They concocted that case against Lane Jensen. I, I, I don't understand why there wasn't more outrage about that, but that was a completely fabricated case. So you're dealing with people that are capable of all kinds of negative shit, awful, illegal shit, and nobody can stop them because they are not accountable. They are the government. And they have every level of government in the Portland area on their side, so there's no way for anybody outside to stop them. So once this election is done, put it behind us, move forward, and John and Shirley, if it's you guys again, Try to try to be a little bit less corrupt, okay? Try to be a little bit more forthcoming with information. You don't have to run it <laughs> that hard, okay? You don't have to be. You don't have to take a sledgehammer and, and hit the people that are descending over the head with the sledgehammer. All right. If, if if you win this next time, try to be kinder and gentler to the people that are dissenting in the meeting. Dissent is a good thing. Dissent is what makes parties come to clear-headed decisions. You just can't, you don't want a bunch of yes-men around you because you won't think clearly. You need to have, you need to listen to the people that are dissenting. I know the TriMet people read my blog all the time. And why do they do that? Because they want to know. Those people are smart over there, okay? These people understand what they're doing. Your deal, ATU members are dealing with highly skilled technocrats here who really know what they're doing. Don't ever underestimate TriMet. As evil and as much shit as they pull, they're brilliant, okay? And we have McFarlane here, who's actually a hero in the industry right now, okay? And, and I'm not making that up. You know, those of us watching those insurgents as we are, we know better, but the public has no idea. The mainstream media doesn't give us any press. The mainstream media is completely on the TriMet management side. They, they just reprint press releases, basically. You know, they're, they're against us. Remember that. And the public is against us because we're a union. And these, these oligarchs have, have succeeded in creating the situation where the public thinks union members are getting more than they deserve. They, they give a free pass to all of these managers and executives with their huge pensions. and pay. But it's the union people that are dragging down the United States. And unfortunately, the American public being stupid falls into these traps over and over and over. That doesn't help us as union members. We have to just make sure that we know what we're doing. So however this ends, I don't want to see any more fighting. I want to see people come together. Now, I know that TriMet has stacked the employee ranks with new people. This was all intentional. I saw it when I was leaving. I saw how they were trying to get rid of the, the old people. People like me, get out of here, you know, any kind of subversive. They need all new people because all those new people are are passive and they're, and they're, quote, happy to have a job that pays something because there ain't no jobs anywhere out there that's going to pay. So you'd rather be a high-paid slave than a low-paid slave. So I, I know that TriMet has stacked this company with these new people, which is going to make it hard for the ATU to get any cooperation with any kind of actions. But at the very least, bring this shit to arbitration, okay? We have all the documentation we need here. Okay, this time we, we got them because that's two straight losses. So we don't have to panic anymore here. We've got them this time, I'm sure, as long as you don't do anything stupid.